Right, so this is lab three, exercise one from Practical Malware Analysis book. Um, in this lab, I'm going to be demoing just the way to find that the uh, malware is beaconing out and where is it trying to beacon to. Um, and so I'm running this in uh, the mal our created malware lab, uh, which consists of a Ubuntu machine over here. Uh, and also a Windows machine. Um, the Windows machine is where the malware is and where we're going to set it off. The Ubuntu machine is uh, running INET SIM, which is going to fake all of our network services, like all our servers, and essentially respond to anything that comes from the malware. Um, we're doing this using a PATE DNS on the Windows machine where it will redirect all network traffic to our Ubuntu machine. Um, and we're doing all of this in uh, VirtualBox using uh, uh, an internal network only just between the two virtual machines. Um, so let's get it set up. I'm going to start my paid DNS server on my Windows machine. I'm going to also start uh, the iNet simulator on my Ubuntu machine. Um, and there it goes. Uh, I'm also going to uh, run Wireshark in the background on the Windows machine as a, a second check um, and I also got Process Explorer here open so let's set off the malware um, and we see the green here that the malware is running um, <clears throat> and we'll wait for it to finish and there it goes, and so it's done. Um, so we're going to stop uh, Wireshark, and I'm also going to stop my uh, INET SIM. And so on the Wireshark, it's pretty easy. We see here where I'm highlighting that Wireshark caught um, a TCP connection going out to port 443, uh, HTTPS, and there's the exchange between the two. Um, the book says to look for this packet, which is supposed to be around 256 uh, in length as the information exchanged um, over port 443 or HTTPS. Um, so we got that, which is pretty simple. Um, but more interestingly, over here on INET SIM, we can look at the uh, reports that it had. Uh, did it do a report? No. So sometimes INET SIM will not do a report as there's an, there wasn't actual significant data exchanged. Um, but it will show up in the, what happened will show up in the, um, the service log right here. So if we look at the service log, we see uh, the attempts to connect over HTTPS port 443. Um, it see, it says the client set no data. I'm not sure uh, why no data is sent because in the book there is supposed to be data sent. Uh, I'm not sure if it's because I'm running the malware on a, on a Windows 7 machine versus a Windows XP. Um, but nevertheless, we do see that the malware did try to beacon out over 443. Um, and it was also, it was directed at a certain domain, um, which you could also see. Um, so there you go.